Hi, this is Pat Morgan. We're back for another 6-5 virtual in the booth uh, recording uh, with Dell talking about NVIDIA GTC. Daniel, I mean, here we are again. GPUs, generative AI. I mean, my gosh. I mean, can we have any more of the coolest topics uh, out there? I think half, three quarters of our 6-5 uh, topics the last two weeks have been literally all about this. Yeah, it, it it's really hit that inflection point, Pat, and it's it's going big. I mean, a year ago we were looking at the market, trying to figure out what's going to be the big wave. You know, we've had these the metaverse, many of these other things. This one's moving, but not only is it moving, but it's really practical. We're not getting just announcements; we're getting announcements and we're seeing things, and it's been really eye opening, Pat, and it's really exciting, which. You know, GTC is just a big moment, a big opportunity to get this story going even faster. Yeah, Dell has always been a player uh, in this space, whether you want to call it, whether you want to call it high performance computing uh, or AI. And it's my pleasure to introduce Jonathan Seckler, who has been a, I don't know, just third time 6'5 guest. Great to have you back. You're getting up there. Thanks a lot. And I, and I commit to you today that everything we talk about is not coming from chat, chat GPT. So this would be like <laughs> real content, Good. you know, in this Good. one. That's, 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 that's great. Thank you. That's what chat GPT would tell you though. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, so I'm actually, I'm actually being rendered by, by a generative AI natural language <laughs> video. So it's really not me. I'm getting a tan somewhere else. You know, Pat, we, we've done like a thousand of these. Don't you think that one of these, large language models could process all our video and then basically start to generate new videos based upon our, you know, our catchphrases, sort of the way we opine about certain topics, connecting the back end to the front end. I mean, things that yeah. we say a lot, I think, right. I think eventually this will be the deep fake. So this is kind of a cool way to, to jump in here and kind of saying someday will it be the six five and it's not really Pat and Dan but it's Pat and Dan, and Dan. You know, well, then you'll need an AI to discern whether it is Pat and Dan, because that's kind of where we're going. So we're going to have a lot of fun here, but um, let's start talking a little bit about what Dell's up to. So Dell is you know, yeah. supporting BTC to talk about you know, its partnership with NVIDIA, uh, the solutions it has for AI. Talk a little bit about some of the key issues with AI that, that you and Dell are trying to solve. Yeah, no, I think, you know, this has definitely been the year for generative AI and you, you've heard a lot of great stories. I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of, you know, generative AI as show horse or generative AI as a plaything. you know, kind of a, kind of a yeah. neat demo. And, um, you know, uh, it, it's, it's really interesting to see that, but I think it's get in order to get past that kind of hype cycle idea, We've got to like look into what it would take to actually build out and create solutions that can deliver this for you know in an enterprise or a commercial context, and uh, you know we uh, you know at Dell we look at a lot of things uh, around AI uh, in our AI solution area. We've been talking about uh, validated designs for AI where we've built right. reference architectures um, and we've partnered with companies like Nvidia. Uh, and VMware on uh, uh, a variety of ways to uh, to deploy AI, and I think the the, the challenge here uh, with generative AI and and with AI in general, and what we want to talk about today is how can we reduce the time to model? You know, how can we reduce the time to deploy uh, an AI solution? You know, in your enterprise, and uh, so those are the big areas that we're looking at. And, uh, and I think that's one of the going to be the challenges to make this real because, you know, the challenge or the, or the, the, uh, the, the, the worst case here is that this just becomes another, you know, interesting toy that quickly, you know, kind of jumps the shark and, you know, in the, in, uh, on Twitter and we, and we never hear from it again. Yeah. So Jonathan, I appreciate you uh, grounding us too. And quite frankly, uh, just like we saw AI come in, it didn't mean analytics went away. Right. That's right. Uh, and, and very rarely in tech does anything go away. It's really uh, a matter of, of and, right? We have analytics. Right. Uh, we have certain flavors of AI. And we have this new flavor of AI. But the, the unspoken thing in the room is, well, wait a second. Uh, how do we do this software, right? How do we actually get this 
uh, mm -hmm. ha having benefits, enterprise benefits and enterprise value. It's one thing for maybe five companies to be able to do that, but it's an entirely right. other thing to help democratize this for, for, for other uh, enterprises. So uh, are, are you announcing things at GTC around this uh, simplification, this, this time uh, to implementation? Yeah, I mean, we, we are. And I think a lot of the things to think about, I think, when you think about generative AI is that right now, uh, all the VC money might be going toward the big next big idea. But uh, I'm going to take the opposite uh, tact and say, let's think small. Right. And that's small in the sense of, you know, uh, unimportant or the, or small in the sense of of even, you know, uh, uh, low capacity. But but think in the, in the terms, in the in the context of, of your enterprise, you know, uh, the use cases for uh, a generative AI type model deployment uh, is is more than just writing, writing blogs and and uh, faking uh, analyst uh, podcasts, right? Uh, just think, you know, what, what you can do at a, at a, in a research setting, being able to find the right set of research uh, to, uh, to build, you know, new, new uh, medical models, you know, to, to build uh, uh, new, new technology, you know, in a, in, in a, in a research setting. Uh, I was thinking the other day, you know, with all of the news in the world about a variety of things that what that, uh, you know, governments and, and law firms can use uh, generative AI to, 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 you know, to understand the, you know, the right, the right set of case laws, you know, to find, you know, to find the precedent for, for things that they, they need to do. And, uh, and so that's really where we're focused on uh, here at Dell Technologies with AI is how do we you know, help customers build that innovation into their businesses, give them a, an architecture, give them tools that will allow them to uh, build out those models uh, at the scale that they're at, uh, and that can grow with them, but doesn't have to be, you know, um, something that you, where you have to put all of your, your proprietary or, or uh, you know, sensitive data out into the cloud, uh, where anyone, you know, where, where anyone can, 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 uh, can work with it. Um, and specifically, what we're announcing at, at, uh, here around GTC is a number of things. Um, you know, the first thing, the last time we talked, uh, we was at supercomputing, I think, Pat, and we talked about how Dell has expanded their portfolio of servers uh, for AI. We call it the, the XE uh, series of servers, and the, and the coolest one that we announced was the, the 9680. It's a, an 8 GPU, high capacity, NVIDIA H100 based. Um, uh, uh, platform, and what we're announcing today is that now this this product is going to be is ready to ship. Uh, we'll we'll be we'll be sending out uh, uh, products. It's uh, it's available for sale and 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 is shipping uh, by the time uh, you uh, get home from uh, GTC. So it'll mm -hmm. be a it'll be a great uh, a great it's a great uh, I would say central piece to that to that that large language model uh, deployment that you're going to need to to build you know for your for your next uh, generative AI project. You know, it was fun to listen to you say, think small, but then you really followed it up by thinking big. I mean, frankly, using the open internet and creating a large language model is a has been a massive task, but at some point it actually does become somewhat commoditized. Everybody right. will get the same answers. And we've all seen that sort of thinking big is all about the incorporation of your vast data landscape. Uh, right. both structured and unstructured, created in real time, and of course, in your systems of record and in your storage and, and, and across the, the web. And so it's kind of interesting because I think it's the architecture, the marketing of generative AI is incredibly impressive. And by the mm -hmm. way, very exciting. I mean, look, right. I never intend to build another PowerPoint presentation again. <laughs> I never intend to hire someone to build another PowerPoint presentation again. I'm just... I'm going to hopefully just talk to my machine and be like, write a PowerPoint that fits my style of presentation, um, you know, using this marketing spec <laughs> and off we go. And I mean, that's cool. Having said that, I think some of the things you mentioned, drug discovery, um, you know, any sort of important quantify, quanti quantitative research uh, that can be used, uh, it takes high performance computing. It takes AI, yeah. it takes the technology that you're building. So talk a little bit about that. Like, I'd love to understand in your mind beyond this kind of hype cycle, which is real, but it is mm -hmm. also hype. <laughs> what is the other applications and use cases that you really see benefiting from AI and GPUs? 
That's a, you know, that's a, that's a great idea. Like, so, so, you know, when you talk about um, how uh, applications are developing today, you know, uh, almost everything is using some kind of AI technique to, to go in. And I think as Pat, you mentioned earlier, it's like, just because we start talking about AI doesn't mean analytics went away. You know, big, big data still exists. It's just, you know, it, it's just not that big anymore, you know, in the scale of everything we can do. And, uh, and so with these solutions that we're bringing to market, like the 9680, that's obviously, you know, our flagship uh, uh, AI optimized server, but you can get, you know, similar results. You know, with with any one of our you know or, ordinary powered servers or VX Rail uh, hyperconverged infrastructure with the right Nvidia technology embedded in it, within you know Nvidia AI Enterprise uh, stacked on top of it, and uh, and you can you can start to see you know some of these applications uh, come to life. And so I see I'm gonna I, I see a future where this idea of generative AI is uh, you know becomes really useful in helping you know. Uh, helping marketers, as you said, like you know, come up with a with a solid uh, content that will that will be a, that will be addressable and usable in the market. But but more importantly, like come up with the kind you know that 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 businesses could come up with the kind of code bases, uh, you know, new materials in science, uh, you know, uh, new like I said, new drugs as well. These are all really big ideas that start you know from very known. Uh, basis, you know, from some kind of a known basis. And the important thing about doing all of this is that there's always this risk of starting. You know, it's the fear of starting or the, or the risk of starting that really, I think, holds most businesses back. Uh, we've s seen that, you know, to try to deploy an AI solution, uh, you, know, uh, you know, like a bespoke kind of thing based on uh, your unique situation, you know, can take three to nine months or longer. And that's why we've developed these reference architectures, right? The Dell Validated Design for AI, uh, you know, has reference architecture use cases for, you know, classic machine learning, uh, deep learning, um, uh, and just most recently conversational uh, uh, learning or conversational AI. So, you know, kind of like generative AI's little brother um, of, you know, natural language processing, speech to text, text to speech, and those kind of things. So, um, so yeah, I think that, that that's why I say, you know, start small. It's not that you're going to, um, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to be able to create Michelangelo's uh, last supper out of, uh, out of AI on, on the first day. Um, but, you know, you can improve what you're doing and, and, and that's the, and that is the challenge, right? Businesses have to innovate. You, you can't stop innovating. We've spent three years throughout this, uh, you know, the pandemic and all the churn that happened afterwards, et cetera, all about transforming IT and transforming business into something that is digital, that is in real time, you know, that is, you know, and, you know that delivers on-demand results. And uh, you can't just stop now. And so uh, we need to use these new technologies uh, in order to, uh, to keep that momentum going. So, Jonathan, it's one thing to, to show up on the field and, mm -hmm. you know, show up and, you know, there's early majority, there's everybody on the, the mm -hmm. adoption uh, curve. But how do people get an advantage here and whether, you know, advantage over their competition or, you know, maybe um, get, you know, be, be able to change a business model uh, to, you know, put your competition, put the hurt uh, on the competition and, you know, so how do you get an edge and how do people get started with, with you? Well, I think the, the easiest way to start, or, or, you know, it's a great question, is that, you know, we need to help the customers build their solutions and, and preferably build it into the environment that they're already used to. This is why we started our first validated design on AI based on both VMware and NVIDIA. Uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, the typical... Uh, organization out there, you know, most most companies, commercial organizations have VMware in their environment. Uh, most commercial organizations, if you're going to be working in AI, uh, Nvidia is definitely the leader in this uh, in this space. And so, by building uh, AI into your existing infrastructure, you know, with probably so the, you know with a few uh, you know additions to to uh, up up your uh, up your your G, your GPU uh, uh, game. Um, you know, you, you, you get that time to time to model down pretty significantly. 
You know, you don't have to start over in a with a separate you know environment that's separately managed, that is isolated from the other data sets in your organization potentially. Right? You're in your you're in your data center. You have the environment uh, available there, and uh, and uh, you can uh, you know harness the power of all of these you know these use cases that we talked about. Uh, much quicker and you know much quicker time to value than uh, than you would if you uh, started from scratch. Well, Jonathan, this has been a lot of fun. I'm very excited to see all the advancements that continue to come out from Dell and the high performance computing and AI. It takes a village, and Pat and I talk about this a lot. You know, certain companies at different times in these cycles tend to get a lot of credit, but there are a lot of companies that are participating in different ways, whether that's the picks and axes, the shovels, the plumbing, or that's those kind right. of front end applications that everybody is like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Well, yeah, but it might be running the same model that a thousand other applications are running. So it's a lot of different parts, a lot of different pieces, a lot of different community. I think all that is evident every year at GTC. So Jonathan, just wanna thank you so much for joining us here for the 6.5 in the booth. Yeah, no, it's been a been a real pleasure, and and like I said, I promise this is real. <laughs> we absolutely agree, and Pat and I tend to be often arbiters of what is and what isn't real. That's our job every single day, and I think what's happening in AI is, and I think you've got to continue to follow us here on the Six Five to hear more about it. But Jonathan, we got to let you go here. Uh, I want to say thanks to everybody for joining us for this Six Five in the booth. We are talking GTC 2023 NVIDIA and the Dell partnership. Hit that subscribe button. Join us for all of our other videos at all the big tech events and, of course, our Friday weekly show. But at this moment, for this episode, it's time to say goodbye. See you all later. <laughs>